After a long and drama-filled offseason, the time has finally come. Tomorrow is game day. The Green Bay Packers will travel down to Jacksonville, Florida to take on the New Orleans Saints. The game is being played in Jacksonville as a result of the damage from Hurricane Ida. Now, normally I would go into a breakdown of what happened in the last game, but being at week one, that is not needed. Um, so I'll just move right into the prediction. Um... The drama surrounding Aaron Rodgers was proven to be false, well, not entirely false. There was some things that needed to be worked out, but Aaron Rodgers is still a member of the Green Bay Packers, and uh, he is committed to playing this year, and we'll see where things go from there. So Aaron Rodgers is still on the Packers. The Packers did bring back veteran slot receiver Randall Cobb, hopefully, or kind of to appease Aaron Rodgers in a way. Um, but other than that... Yeah, it, I'm not expecting Randall Cobb to come back and be a superstar like he was back in his heyday with uh, his original tenure with the Green Bay Packers, but adding a true veteran slot receiver will help him tutor uh, the Packers' recent draft pick, Amari Rodgers, to hopefully be, kind of become the successor to Randall Cobb. In an offseason where a lot of moves were made across the entire NFL due to the lower salary cap as a result of the pandemic affecting revenue all across the NFL, um, surprisingly the Packers were able to keep most of their talent. They did lose their all-pro center Corey Lindsey, however they did draft his replacement in Josh Myers, a center from Ohio State. I mentioned him in my draft pick video. Um, but other than losing Corey Lindsley, the Packers were able to keep most of their talent, and I believe they will still be a great team, and they will hope to make a deep playoff run this year. As for the New Orleans Saints, their biggest news, their biggest roster change going into this season is the retirement of their uh, quarterback, Drew Brees. Drew Brees was a great quarterback, and I wish him the best in his retirement, but uh, losing Drew Brees definitely does hurt the New Orleans Saints. Jameis Winston has been named the starter for week one uh, as the heir to the throne, I suppose, of the Saints quarterback role. Despite losing Drew Brees, I do still think Jameis Winston is a decent quarterback, and the Saints did manage to keep most of their defense together. And that Saints defense, I would consider, is top 10, top 15 in the NFL. So their defensive unit, especially with a defensive-minded coach like Sean Payton, will be tough to score against. However, their offense, I think, will take a step back because they no longer have Drew Brees. Now, as for my prediction, uh, I predict that this will be a big offense versus defensive battle. The Green Bay Packers offense versus the New Orleans Saints defense. Packers are known more for their offense. Saints are known more for their defense. Uh, in terms of the final score, I am going to predict a 28-17 to victory for the Green Bay Packers, reason being that the Saints offense isn't as good as it used to be, and I believe in this Packers defense and new defensive coordinator Joe Barry to execute the game plan right. Of course, we'll give up a little bit, but I think we'll have a good 11-point uh, margin of victory for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, usually I do a bold prediction. For my bold prediction, I predict that Aaron Jones will... Uh, receive a touchdown pass from Aaron Rodgers, and I also predict that Aaron Rodgers throws three touchdowns, or, yeah, three touchdowns, uh, one to Aaron Jones, one to Devontae Adams, and I'm going to also predict that Aaron Rodgers throws a touchdown pass to Marquez Valdez-Scantling for over 40 yards, and then I also think that either Aaron Jones or A.J. Dillon will rush for that fourth touchdown. As always, we will see how the game plays out. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.